I think there's more danger in not discovering this. And something else I noticed is he, he consistently used the word they, 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 yeah. they, yeah. they. Dangerous my little man. In the 21st century, our world has gotten smaller. Despite modern advancements, there's a lot more mystery in the world than you first think. Small pockets where superstition and myth flourish. One of those areas is Yankee Springs. Combined anchorage of the state park and surrounding state game area encompass 23,000 acres of towering pines, wooded hills, and scintillating lakes. I've heard the occasional sighting of, of course, Bigfoot, bears, cougars, and other animals that don't belong. But perhaps the most interesting of all of these stories is of one man who haunts these woods naked. My name's Christian Yonkers, and you're watching The Hunt for Naked Man. Alright, so we've heard plenty of stories and myths about the naked man. Tonight we're hoping to have some of those confirmed by a man named John Norris, who grew up in the Yankee Springs area. Um, so we can confirm these myths and put some of the anecdotes on the record. So, come on, let's go meet John. So what was it like growing up out in Yankee Springs? Fun. Fun. We just go out there with the horses all the time. We just had a bunch of people show up, and we just take off. And what were some of the things, the experiences that you had out there? We caught them one time. We was coon hunting. There were a big circle of them, and it looked like they had our coon dog up on the, up on the fire cooking. One guy was standing, all the rest of them were kneeling. My cousin was with me. He pulls up with that with his rifle, and he lays that scope on that guy's head. And that guy stop, picks his head up, and it's dark. And it's right across the field at us, just like that. It looked like, my cousin said it looked like he looked right down that scope. Jeez. The woods have been haunted like that forever. With Naked Man, when did that first surface, or you first hear about that? Late 80s, mm -hmm. early 90s, right in there. He was a weirdo. There's always cats with him. Like, there'd be cats, like, going before him, or he'd be holding cats? They'd be around him, just running around, around him. And it was it was weird. You'd slow down for a cat in the road, and I'd say, you know, he'd step out in the road in front of you. What would you do then? Well, um... We would stop, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, sometimes your truck would shut off. That's weird. Mm -hmm. Then when you stepped away, your truck would start back up and you could leave when you hit your key. And what did you make of that? Uh, we just kind of got out of there. Are there still parts of Yankee Springs, despite how popular and popular it's gotten, things can still go on in that location? Oh, I'm sure there's stuff still going on. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm still, I'm sure. I think they've gotten a little better at hiding it. There's a lot of stories out there, and most of them are true. Well, good news. Looks like we have a story in front of us. Bad news. The state park is huge. We're going to need a bigger team.
This is one of Naked Man's cats. He drapes it around his shoulders like this. Just like that. Hit the button up here to subscribe. Don't be like that cat and just run away from me. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da,